Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show off this 2021 Raptor and give you guys my first impressions as we do this little walk around. So right off the bat, um, you probably won't be able to tell on camera, but this thing is extremely wide and it looks fantastic from the front. I don't know if you guys can just get a uh, idea for how wide this truck is. So yeah, it definitely looks fantastic, super wide. In this case, you guys are curious, I think this one is already sold. Looks like we have black headlight bezels on this one, just like on the trimmer. We have fog lights now, because on the previous gen Raptor, a lot of times people would do like aftermarket fog lights. This one comes from the factory with fog lights now, so that's really nice. I apologize for the background noise, there's a lot of planes flying overhead. But this one is the high package, the 802A, because you can see it has the front camera there. I love the Ford badge in the front, front parking sensors now. And here's a little Easter egg that you may or may not know. It says Raptor in the headlight. Uh, side markers right here, the nice wide fender flares. Then we have a vent right here. I don't know if this is functional or not. Um, I don't know. I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to check about that later. Coming back here, you got the body colored mirrors. You got the uh, LED spotlights, LED turn signals. We have a 360 camera and a puddle light. It'll be interesting to see if it's just a regular puddle light or if it says like Raptor or something. That'd be kind of cool. You can see there, 3.5 is made in Mexico and then uh, truck made in Dearborn and Trans is US. We got our little uh, keypad, smart key access, and then these nice Raptor. I've always loved the Raptor uh, running boards. They just look fantastic. It looks pretty much the same on the Tremor, but you see this one says Raptor on it. This one is Leadfoot. I know this is a favorite color for a lot of people. They really like Leadfoot. Just look at the width. I love that width. That looks really cool. More planes. Looking in the back, you can see you have the blacked out taillights as well, just like on the Tremor. Definitely have to do a night video if I ever get the chance. It won't be with this one, because like I said, I think this one is sold. Then we have the plaque in the back, F-150, Raptor. Got our dual exhaust tips, which I definitely have to listen to see how it sounds because new Raptors do have active exhaust available, so that's really nice. See, we got a little trailer hitch right here. We got two huge, beefy tow hooks in the back. This one does have a spray-in bed liner. I know a lot of people love the spray-in bed liner because they get confused when an expensive truck doesn't have a bed liner, but it is an a la carte option, and this one happens to have it. See, we have our little tie-down hooks as well. We also have our Pro Power on board there, and then our box lighting, and then also you get the ruler and all that uh, cool stuff on the tailgate as well. All LEDs up there with a camera. Then we have our sliding rear window. Let's look at these wheels. This one does have the 35 inch tires and you can see it does have the beadlock capable rims as well. It has the upgraded beadlock. These 35s look really nice on the Raptor and they do have the 37s available but the 35s look really good as well. But I'll definitely have to check out the 37s when we get those in. What do you think, Danny? <laughs> it's it's fantastic. I'd rather have the trimmer. I mean, the trimmer is a great mid package, though, if you don't want the Raptor. Yeah, I'd probably rather have Yeah. See ya. So looking at the sticker, you can see this one does have the 801A package. So it used to be called 802A, like if you got the top end one on the previous one, but this one's called 801A. I don't know what happened with this window sticker, but um, you can definitely see the beadlock wheels on there. Uh, 17 inch says 1895. This one does have the bed liner, like I said. The moon roof, this one does have the tech package. So it has a power tailgate, tailgate step, the work uh, surface, everything like that. And it does have a red window sticker, which I really like. I think that looks cool. The Ford Performance has the red. See, there's the MPGs. I'm sure the 37s will probably be a little bit worse, but 15 city, 18 highway, 16 combined. I think that's right on par with the previous gen Raptor, if I'm not mistaken. But I do love the way these uh, these Raptors look, and I can't wait to drive one whenever I get the chance. Check out this hood here. It says Raptor in the side, and it looks like those are functional vents. So that's fantastic. And then obviously the moonroof up there, this one is a little bit dirty. Let's go ahead and check out the interior real quick. So it is not unlocked, but I can show you guys a quick little glimpse of the inside. So these seats look to be uh, bolstered pretty well. You can see there, I can't wait to test them out. We have that nice steering wheel with the red, I don't know if you guys can see it, see the little red marker at the top. We got the big screen in the middle, fold down. Uh, this one does have the work surface and the fold down center shifter. 
Bang & Olufsen Unleashed. So this one is a pretty loaded one. And uh, let's go ahead and look at that window sticker one more time to see what the final MSRP was. Looks like it was 78965 So if you get a fully loaded Raptor, it's about 79000 And then the Tremor that I showed you guys earlier was about 71000 So the Raptor is a little bit uh, more expensive than the Tremor. So if you guys don't need like all out for the Raptor, you can spring for the Tremor. Or if you want to go all out, have the most off-road capable, craziest F-150 that you can get, the Raptor is the way to go. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of the new Raptor in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.